Okay guys, here we are again. Uh, just finished another project. Uh, still have glue on my hands, still sweaty, but we are done with this thing. Uh, nice curved reception desk, welcome desk at this church. Uh, this is a good example of me uh, drawing something up that I think is really cool and I've never done before and having to figure out how to do it after we sell the job. So uh, a lot of trial and error along the way, uh, but in the end, I think we have a really good product here. So. Um, so we got this with this cracked glass panel and then earlier uh, we made this and so kind of ties everything together. It's the same laminate colors, same type of pattern uh, for the coffee bar. So, so let's jump in. I will show you uh, how we did it all, I guess. So somebody at this church had an old blueprint lying around from when the building was built. And so I scanned it and took this image into SketchUp and took the largest dimension line and literally scaled that image to the size of the building. Um, that way I could just trace the walls and pull them up and then I have like an exact replica of that room in the building uh, as far as scale goes. And so the reason I did that, I wanted to show what this desk would look like inside there and see if, you know, see what would be appropriate for that size room and, and what it would actually look like. And it allows me to show uh, show the customer too. So uh, this was kind of the final iteration of it. I believe the outside of this desk was about a seven foot radius. And the, the desk represents a quadrant of a circle with that radius. I mentioned that one was the final iteration. Uh, in SketchUp, I did a ton of these um, desks. They were all pretty similar. What varied was like the finish on the front of them or the shape or you know geometry of those panels. Uh, I, th I think I ended up with pretty much the hardest way to do that, but, uh, but it was cool. I like a challenge. If only my shop had the infinite space, infinite digital space of Ske SketchUp. Uh, anyway, so that's the versions we showed. That's the one we went with. Let's, let's roll here. All right, so here's my Laguna CNC machine. The CNC is gonna be pretty heavily involved in this. Uh, but hey, you know, I did a lot of projects similar to this before I had, I've only had the CNC not even a year. And so these things can be done, um, you know, with, with other tools too. But the CNC sure does make it nice, especially with the curves and that. So, because uh, I could literally just drop these curves uh, from SketchUp into VCarve and, and create them. So I had this, idea that turned out to be not a great idea but uh to to actually make the studs out of this particle board also uh i thought it'd be great i can kind of hollow out the middle it'll be lighter and <clears throat> so it, it worked okay for assembling it and, and holding the curve what i didn't think about until i started putting it together is that the edge of uh particle board does not hold a screw very well and so i end up sistering some two by fours on there that you'll see later but uh, curve turned out good. I don't have video putting this MDF on the front, but you can see like I curved it and I think I left about a 16th of material there. And so the CNC just curved all that. You can see all the curves on the inside of that three quarter inch MDF. And you can see the two by four assisted to those studs. Um, you can do the same thing on a, on a table saw. In fact, it might've been faster. It might be the one thing that might've been faster. The CNC took a long time on that, but here's my pattern. I had it all to scale. So I just had to uh, bring it into V-Carve and cut those shapes. And so I did a couple test pieces. You'll see I left the perimeter, a little bit of material on one, and on the other one, the curves go all the way through. And I was trying to, I wanted to leave that material at the edge so I could edge band it, but I wasn't sure how well that would work. And with the MDF, that didn't work that well, actually leaving that material at the edge. Uh, so here I am trying it with just particle board, uh, melamine on this side, on the other side, it's laminate. And so here's my test piece. All right, I'm gonna see if this curve will bend the, this radius. I think it will. Oh yeah. This is perfect, it's beautiful. So with a successful test, I uh, went ahead and started cutting out the rest of the pieces. You'll notice the orientation here is not as efficient as the normal pattern would be but I had to cut them in such a way that the wood grain was going the right direction on all of them. So I edge banded in these pieces, but if I did it again, I think I would just paint those black because uh, the edge banding did give me a little bit of trouble in the end with that curve, even though I had tested it. 
it still uh, did some things that I didn't expect. All right, so here we are at the church. In fact, let me show you this. This is the uh, coffee bar and panels we did with that cracked glass pattern. Well, now we're doing another pattern similar to that on the new reception desk. So the challenge right now is to get that on that. I'm not sure about this. My plan was to back screw these panels. So screw them from the inside of the wall uh, into the panel. And the, pr the problem with that is that the panels that I'm screwing into uh, are curved. And so you really have to hit exactly in that solid part and so I'll show you in a second how I did that. But you can see I got washers on the screws on the inside too, uh, just so the screws don't get sucked into the, you know, the gaps in that MDF. But uh, I didn't show it, but we tap con this wall down so it's all solid and fastened right now. So you'll see what we're doing here. Um, actually putting a little bit of white paint on the back of those panels and then train, you know, and then holding them up and then wiping the white paint back off the melamine. And that gave us the pattern of, of where the, the meat of the particle board would be hitting. So then we could drill it from the outside, screw it from the inside, and know that we're kind of hitting the meat of the particle board. So uh, that worked okay. It was kind of a weird process, but it's the only way to be sure. So here, that top piece is a curved out uh, black particle board, and I'm ripping strips, and I end up putting strips in between these panels, um, not just to help hold the gap, but it also held in the edge banding that would um, bubble once in a while. I ended up having to make some cuts in the edge banding that was that was running laterally along the curve uh, to kind of relieve that. And then putting that black piece in there just kind of held everything nice and tight. I think I was actually in Florida when these guys were finishing up this front, and so I was a little nervous about it. But they're, they're sending me pictures, and they got it. So like I said, I think if I did this again, I would just have a black edge on those panels and not try and edge band them. And guys that do this a lot are probably like, yeah, dummy, you shouldn't have tried to edge band something on a curve. But uh, it worked out in the end, but live and learn. All right, there is basically a finished product as far as the front of this thing goes. Uh, it looks, looks awesome. So um, like I said, the grain all goes the same direction. So the orientation of the panels had to be right when we cut them out. Um, just need that base uh, baseboard on the front. So here's the back. There's a couple uh, cabinets we made out of laminate melamine. Uh, those are just sitting there for now. But you can see this crazy pattern of um, <clears throat> screws and washers just like right in the right spot where they had to be to, to catch the panels on the other side. And so with no electrical or anything on the inside, we were able to put some... Uh, put some board on the inside. I think we just used quarter inch and just flexed it on there and uh, and now we're laminating it. So just finishing that off and then trimmed it in place. Now, so see that countertop on top there? Uh, we're going backwards a little bit. So this is when we actually cut that out. And so we had laminated particle board. Uh, CNC just makes this easy and awesome because I could basically drag and drop kind of the same curves into v-carve and then make them the right size triangles are just um, pieces that we're salvaging so just a little bit of video on making these countertops um, I those are uh, double thick and then we trimmed them edge banded them I actually ordered uh, online a nosing that matched so you can see we just glue and clamp that nosing on it and used about every clamp we had so that was the upper counter and then there's also a lower counter which kind of makes the desk that you sit at and so there's the first piece of that the <clears throat> so with that pattern of laminate the challenge was actually to just because uh, there's a there was a seam in each of those and so the challenge was to just get the pattern to line up perfectly and so i think we we're able to do that with one piece in the first one uh and then with this wider one i had to use uh two sheets not because i couldn't have fit it i think i could have uh but it, to get it to line up i had to use two sheets don't stop get it get it mm -hmm. Next was these cubbies. Uh, they wanted these the kind of the cellular uh, shelves at each side of the desks. 
And so I uh, drew those up, and they conform to that same radius. And then we CNC'd out those patterns, and they're just made to fit together. I think you'll see here. So it's just doing the curves first where things are going to fit together, and then it's cuts, cutting out the perimeter. So those first pieces, the larger ones, were kind of the top and bottom, and then here's the vertical pieces that go in between that they stack on and fit together. That's the lower counter all clamped together now. And then here's one of these uh, cubby shelves, for lack of a better term. Uh, and obviously that's edge banded, so that's all clamped together, basically just fit together and glued it. Uh, and then you'll see beside here we have some more parts ready to go for the other one. So uh, it's almost like an Ikea set after they're cut out. And then here just finishing with the edge banding of one of the pieces. So these are pretty cool, I thought. Um, and they fit perfect. So it's kind of one of those things I've never made them before. I just drew it up. Uh, they worked. And I'm may never do them again but so there they are fit in place or were designed to just fit exactly uh, between the two countertops and then here's the base uh, like I said I had learned my lesson so the top of that's just black not edge banded and then it's laminate on the outside so we just glued that on and it kind of kind of just completed the front of that the black actually didn't look bad uh, but that was just MDF so it, it wouldn't have been durable Actually, I guess you can see that we laminated that later, which makes sense because we had to screw it on and then we probably spackled the holes and made everything smooth uh, and then laminated it here in a minute. So here's the welcome sign, which was just, um, ah, I forget what that material is called. Uh, anyways, it, it's just like a, like a flexible PVC type material that uh, sign companies use. And so it's just CNC'd out the... Um, <clears throat> But we used the template from, or the material that it was cut out of as kind of a template to, to uh, put it in place. So after it was all glued on there, then we took the template back off and now I'm gonna laminate that baseboard and we're getting really close here and getting this thing done. That's actually some uh, stick on laminate, which I didn't even know they made. And I just had ordered some more of this, and all of a sudden it came with this pre-glued back, uh, which I was kind of impressed with. It actually worked really well. Um, so we'll see over the long term how it holds up. Then lastly, I think I'm just cutting out the uh, drawer fronts, drawer fronts and cabinet doors. And so when I do that, uh, you can see that I cut out the uh, where the hardware goes and where the pools go through so and they're laminated on the other side and so when they come off of here uh, they have to be edge banded but then otherwise they are ready to rock and roll and be put on so we're down to finished product here that is finished cabinet uh, finished drawer actually used it like a the bottom of that is laminated because I had some extra quarter and shit was laminated so it was kind of cool mix for a durable surface so here's the front it's all done signage is on uh, it's a beautiful piece in this church. I hope it serves them a long time. And uh, here's the dork that uh, designed it. So, over and out, guys. Thanks for watching.